Okay, so last time we looked at when Carl locked this on and he stepped over my head and it was fully locked on and his goal was to elevate my shoulder and push my wrist back. So we talked about last time how I would be walking to get his arm underneath my shoulder rather than at the elbow. So that little shuffle. Okay. And then I lifted my, my hips and I put all the weight onto my shoulder so car tries to lift the guy. Very, very difficult. But we don't want to stay here, okay? But we wanted to put time into just this this ability to be able to put reps in on this and make this shoulder uh, heavy. So now from here, I'm gonna pendulum my legs and bring my bottom leg in. The same leg on the same side. So the car is putting it here on my left arm. My left leg is gonna pendulum and I'm gonna make a grip on the inside of my thigh. So there is no chimera if I can straighten my arm. So all I'm going to do now is from here start bringing my knee up. Now if car lets go of the chimera it becomes a scramble but 9 times out of 10 people still keep it locked on hoping to get it. So as he does, cars connect to me. So now I'm just going up. I'm going to spike him with my shoulder. about how if he knows jiu-jitsu his left arm is under my elbow okay so i'm gonna walk and get it under my armpit then i lift my hip and i put all the weight that preliminary defense hands on the mat all the weights on my left shoulder but now i don't want to stay here we want to escape so i bring my knees to my chest i pendulum my leg and i bring my bottom leg on the same side as the arm that's being chimera and i make that initial grip from there I'm going to start to point my left knee up and straighten my leg. I pull the base to my elbow and now I just hit the skate. I'm coming up. Again, if I still have the bind, I can move around. And now I have... with my shoulder, I walk around. 